My first video was about my baby starting on solid from 6 months to 11 months. Nearly 4 months have passed and is nearly 15 months now. And in this video I will continue with this food journey. We start our days with smoothies. Every morning we have a smoothie of vegetables and fruit. The combination of vegetables and fruit are unlimited. You can just add some vegetables like kale and spinach and sweeten up with fruits like bananas, berries or mangoes. I always add an avocado too. It is a really good fat and makes it so much creamier too. I do give them supplements, vitamin D, vitamin B12 and vitamin C and I tend to add these vitamins in their smoothies. Sometimes I buy vegan, organic, chewable vitamin D and C and I give them like little treats. I tend also to add in their smoothies, hemp seeds, barley grass and chia seeds. I will not bore you with the health benefits of these vitamins and seeds but you can easily find out more by just googling. A little tip, if you are an adult and you are worried about drinking smoothies because of the sugar content, not that I'm worried, but some people do add some sort of fat, like coconut oil, to slow down the absorption of sugar. Then we have breakfast. That varies a lot. Most times it's just fruit, but sometimes my partner gives them raw cereals or porridge so they can enjoy the same breakfast together. Lunch tends to be fruit, salads, soups and to drink smoothies, juice, coconut water or just water. I must add that all the juices I give them are freshly made at home. There are so many other foods that I wanted to include in this video. From hours of footage I decided to choose and include only the most basic and simple dishes and food. Then we have the afternoon snacks, like fruit platter, smoothies, juices, coconut meat, kale chips, the hydrated vegetables, vegetables platter, ice creams, improvised energy balls specifically for children. Anyways, the list goes on. There's so many things you can do. Dinner tends to involve some sort of cooked food. At the moment, my older daughter keeps asking for spaghetti. To vary, I buy rice, whole meal, quinoa types of spaghetti. An example of a meal is beans with brown rice, with steamed vegetables like broccoli, beetroot, asparagus, veggie corn, etc. Not that you need to worry, but if you do worry about protein intake for your child, beans and rice is a complete protein meal. They also love potatoes too, including sweet potatoes, so I generally steam them or bake them in the oven. I live in a country with a cold climate and lack of sun, hence why the need of vitamin D, for example. Vitamin C is amazing. I use for lots of things like treating colds, flus, to boost the immune system, especially during winter time 
when everybody is ill with colds and flus. Dr. Andrew Souls is one of the best advocates for vitamin C. He was also involved in the making of, of Food Matters film. If you haven't watched, it's a great starting point for anyone wanting to be healthier. Some of the dishes that I left out requires a little bit more preparation time. For example, romaine burritos, uh, raw soups, zucchini spaghetti, cauliflower Spanish rice, raw lasagna, beetroot risotto, and also puddings. Puddings like, for example, raspberry pie, raw cakes, biscuits, different types of ice creams, chia seeds, uh, banoffee pie, carrot cake, all these without refined sugars of course, but I do tend to add lots and lots of dates instead. I might just do a video on these foods alone, but if there is anything specific that you'd like me to make a video on, let me know.